Sabaha everybody and welcome back to Expose Tuesday. Today we're going to take a look at a module that's going to bring some of the Paranoid Android ROM features over to our device. This is TK and let's go ahead and check it out. First thing we want to do is go directly into the Expose installer. Go to Modules. I already have it installed and download PA for Expose. This is Halo is back basically. Um, it's version 0.2 check the box, restart the device. You have a few different settings to be able to interface with. One of the other things also provides you is the ability to toggle these features on and off from the notification panel. Now you notice there's nothing on the top, but when you bring it down, I can turn on and turn off Halo and it tells me right there in the notification if I have it on and off. Um, Halo is active, Peak is active, and Pi Control is not active. If I touch it, it says active and I disable it and it's turned off. We'll go back. Uh, the main switch is for Halo, and that's what we have here. Halo is turned on, and I have peak mode turned on, so I can actually open up applications in peak. Uh, you can turn it on, you can hide the ticker, you can use ninja mode, of course. The Halo size just predetermines uh, the size of the actual bubble and how much it protrudes out. Uh, the default one is, I found to be kind of small, and um, you know, let's here, we'll go back. And what I prefer to go with is slightly on the large one, and you can go all the way to monster size. Um, show ongoing notifications. If you'd like that, you can put that on and then it'll start adding more notifications in here as you can see the different options that you have. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel. Notice it, it took out the settings into a windowed mode and that's not what I wanted to do. But I'll go ahead and go back in. Uh, ping mode, ping apps. You can select the applications you can ping. I have multiple ones here. You can see the little pin next to them. Um, I can open up Instagram and it's sitting here and it works great. Um, app launcher, of course, this is show another app notification open actively uh, when you when you have any other app launch for in floating window. So I can turn that on. It'll give me the ability to do that if I have something else running. So I'll turn that on and let's say I go, well, let's get here. We'll go to music and you'll notice here it's, it's sitting, it's running. I can open up, I can go to another thing and let's go here. I'll go Instagram, take it over. Works very, very nicely. But you notice we had two different windows on top of each other as I closed one over another. Uh, main switch, toggle peak here. This is the ability to toggle peak if you want to do that. Black background, peak timeout, as well as the peak sensors. Last thing here, we have Pi Control. I do have that disabled as it's not running quite well on my OnePlus 3, but you guys can definitely check that out. Uh, the other thing here is a floating window, which you guys saw. I was already been, you know, we've been doing that the whole time. Uh, and then that last thing here we have is app notification. Setup notification should shown when Halo is in peak. This is your own personal preference. Heads up notification should be disabled if you're using Halo, which I am using Halo, so therefore I disabled this option. And then quick pull down doesn't really apply to me because I'm using Android NFI. And the setup on the OnePlus 3 does not allow for the pulling on the right to bring down the settings, the quick settings tab, which is what this feature is trying to do. Um, overall, very nice. Uh, it's in, in version 0 0.02, uh, so or at least in point two. So be careful, it's still new, it still has some features to be added to it. But I like the fact that it's easy, um, that it's a little side launcher and I can just add different things and launch them in a windowed mode. I don't lose what I, what's happening in the background. I still have full functionality. I can go out of it pretty easily, um, open up other applications and then still interface with what I want to do. You know, I can switch between music uh, and you know, like I said, I can go back to Instagram. You can pin as many applications as you'd like. Uh, just be aware again, as you're adding things, you're going to be adding more features. And then every time you tap away, it closes one window over another, so you can launch multiple ones if you'd like. Very, very nice, easy to install. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support, and as usual, I will see you guys in the next video.